Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It is a day we've never seen before and a day we'll never see again. As always, we believe it is a day to praise the Lord. Let's get the Lord a hand clap of praise. Glory. Hallelujah. Praise your holy name, Lord. We come right now thanking you and praising you for this technology called uh, Facebook Live. We thank you, Lord, and we plead the blood over this technology. We plead the blood over this word tonight that it might encourage someone and, 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 and strengthen them. Dear Lord, we plead the blood, dear Heavenly Father, over their lives and over all of our lives right now in the name of Jesus, that we might be healthy and that we might be healed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. This tonight uh, is... Um, Tonight is, is, is May 9th, and so on the God in the Midst program, the God in the Midst radio, Get them Radio, uh, tonight is prophetic healing, prophetic healing. Um, we believe what God reveals, he will heal. What God reveals, he will heal. And so we have a healing community that comes online tonight at 8 p.m., um, it's going to be on the uh, uh, um, conference call. The conference call number is 619-639-4733. Again, 619-639-4733. We do this once a month, once a month on the second Saturday, I mean, second Wednesday of the month. So tonight, before the program starts, uh, where we start praying for everyone, for healing, people call in, and people have been getting healed uh, over the over the conference call. Uh, we've seen great healings this year, and so we're just going to continue to pray for people to be healed. But but tonight, I want to give a quick word on health and healing, health and healing. So to start this off, I'm going to start with my first scripture tonight that I want to deal with. The first scripture I want to deal with very quickly tonight is Jeremiah 17, verse 14. Jeremiah 17, verse 14. It says, heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. Oh, hallelujah. God is in the healing business. I, I don't care what the naysayers say. I don't care what the bootleg folks say. God is the one that heals. He heals us from the top of our heads to the sole of our feet. He heals us inside and out. He can heal our finances. He can heal us physically. He can heal us emotionally. He can heal us mentally. He can heal us. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, God, for your healing. I don't know about you, but he saved my soul. That's a healing of my spirit. He made me whole. Oh, hallelujah. So I want us to understand that healing is God's responsibility. Oh, you got to hear me now. Healing is God's responsibility. And we have to recognize that he is in the business of healing. Oh, hallelujah. I love that Jeremiah passage. He says, heal me, O oh Lord and I shall uh, be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. I thank God that right now, y'all, for my healing. Oh, hallelujah. And then my next text, my next text that talks about, talks about from Exodus chapter 15, verse 26, Exodus chapter 15, verse 26, and it says this, uh, if you diligent heed the voice of the Lord, your God and do what is right in his sight. Give ear to his commandments and keep all of his statutes. I will put none of the diseases on you which I brought on Egypt, for I am the Lord who heals you. This passage of scripture puts a condition on God's healing. His condition is, is that you follow his statue, that you give ear to his word, that you do what's right in the sight of God. Many of us call on God for healing, but we don't follow through with our healing 
by staying healthy. Oh, you got to hear me. You got to hear me today. You got to hear me. See, 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 there's one thing for God to heal you, but there's a whole nother thing for you to stay healthy after you've been healed, while you being healed, uh, before you get healed. You, 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 you have to stay healthy. Now, 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 if I was talking about a uh, 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 physical health, you got to eat right. You, 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 you gotta, you gotta drink right. You gotta uh, uh, exercise your body. Those are things that give you good health. So what am I saying to you? Healing is God's responsibility, but your health is in your power. And so with responsibility comes power and with power comes responsibility. So you have an opportunity to walk in your health after doing and before you even get healed. Oh, let me break this thing down. Let me break this thing down. See, ain't no way you're going to come to me as a pastor and say, pastor, oh, pastor, pray for my blood pressure, pastor. And I Pray, don't you with all, lay hands on you, oh Lord, heal them of this blood pressure. But then you go home and eat a, a whole 10 pound uh, 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 pot of chitlins with hot sauce on them. Come on now. How you going to be asking for your blood pressure to go down, but you ain't investing in your own body? Don't you know your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Oh, you said, oh, okay. So so now, 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 preacher, you blaming, you blaming my unhealthiness on me. See, 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 that now, see, that's the problem. You took it personal. I'm just talking to you. I ain't talking about you. Understand, when you start looking at the fault of who is the cause and what is the cause of your bad health, you are looking at the past. And, and, and everybody can find a fault in the past. We got 2020 hindsight in the past. But the question is, will you say, I don't care who fault it is, whether it's my fault, whether it's my environment's fault, whether it's what I'm doing, it don't matter. I'm going to take responsibility for it. See, I'm not going to be looking in the past at the fault. I'm going to take responsibility in the present. Oh, hallelujah. So he says, if you diligently heed the voice of the Lord, that's right now, and do what is right in his sight and give ear to his commandments and keep all of his statutes, he says, I will, I will put none of these diseases on you, which I have brought on Egypt, for I am the Lord who heals you. Oh, hallelujah. So, so, so what have I just said to you? I'm saying to you, first of all, that healing is God's responsibility, but your health is your responsibility. Now, let me talk about something else about, about, about health, health and healing. See, you prayed, Lord, heal my marriage. Heal my marriage, Lord. It's broke. It's messed up. But you ain't doing anything to take responsibility for the health of your marriage. You ain't praying for your spouse. You ain't praying with your spouse. All you doing is walk around having a pity party because it ain't what it used to be. And brothers, I'm talking to you now. You ain't even singing a song. You know you messed up. You need to sing the song. Let's straighten it out. Yes. If you worried about the health of your marriage. You got, you got financial problems. Your, your finances is broke. You, you, you so broke. <laughs> your, your finances is so broke that, that, that when you write a check, it, 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 it bounces off the ground and slams dunk into a gold. Somebody else. Here's the thing. You can pray God to heal your finances. But, but if you don't discipline yourself, and be a good steward over what he's already gave you, then your health is all jacked. And you can keep praying and praying. God saying, look, you got to follow what I'm telling you to do. If you follow, I'll I, I heal your finances. 
And, and matter of fact, not only will I heal your finance, I'll give you the tools to have a healthy financial situation. I could go on and on. I got to talk about one more. I got to talk about mental and emotional healing and mental and emotional health. I know God healed me mentally and emotionally. I'm a, I, I'm a serious griever. So I need God to help me when I go through grief. I, 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 I get depressed sometimes and I need God to heal me from, from that depression, that emotional state of mind, that, that mental state of mind that I have. But at the same time, I got to discipline myself and humble myself and keep myself so that what I hear, what comes into my mind, I have the Holy Spirit in me to take that in and handle it. So I got to watch what I hear. I got to watch what I do, because if I get to hearing stuff and doing stuff, my emotional stability becomes unhealthy. My mental stability becomes unhealthy. Oh, and don't get me wrong. I got, I, I know, I know some of y'all out there taking meds to help you. Hey, that's for your mental health. But only God can make that medicine work for your healing. Oh, y'all got to hear me. Glory. Hallelujah. I'm going on. I'm going on. I'm going on to my next scripture. I got to go to my next scripture because I don't want to be long tonight. Uh, my next scripture is not only is, is Jesus, Jesus, God is responsible for our healing and, and we are responsible for our health. We need to also understand is that Jesus paid it all for our healing and our health and our wholeness. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 55 says, but he was wounded for our transgressions and he was bruised for our iniquity and the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes, we are healed. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. See that, that's Jesus' job. That, that's what Jesus did for us. Uh, he, he took our wounds and and he and, and, and he was wounded for our transgressions. He took our bruises. He was bruised for our iniquity. That's when we don't do what we're supposed to do. And, and, and then when the chastisement comes, oh, I, I see y'all. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. I'm lactose intolerant. I I I, I ain't got no business getting up eating no pizza with cheese on it, anything with cheese on it. I ain't got no business eating my bluebell ice cream. But I, I said, oh, Lord, if I eat it, oh, I get a chastening. <laughs> Stomach ache out of this world. But I said, Lord, you got to help me. He said, okay, get you some lactate, baby. <laughs> and I take that lactate and, and I can eat me some ice cream and eat me some pizza. I can't do it all the time now. Because, see, if I go past my moderation, it don't matter what that medicine does. It ain't going to help me. <laughs> and I'd be chasing. But thank God, Jesus was chasing for our peace. And, and I it was chasing for our peace. And it was upon him. Oh, hallelujah. And by his stripes, we are healed. One more passage of scripture. Then I'm going to try to close this thing out. I'm going to try to close this thing out. If we go down now to... to that, that was verse um, Isaiah chapter 35, verse 5. I got one more place I want to go. I want to go to uh, Psalm 103, um, verses 2 and 4. And that's where, where I'm going to start my closing here. This is what it says. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is with me. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits who forgives all of your iniquities, who, who heals all of your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy. Hallelujah. John and Peter were headed to the temple. And there was a man outside of the temple asking for arms 
and, and, and he looked at John and Peter, Peter and John, he looked at them and, and he asked them for, for an offering. And, and, and Peter and John said, look at us, fix your eyes upon us. And he said, as he gave attention, he was expecting to receive something. Then Peter said, silver and gold, I do not have, but what I do have, I give you in the name of Jesus. Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. You want to be healed? You want to be whole? You want to be healthy? Listen to what they just said. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And verse 7 says, and he took him by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and his ankles received strength. So he leaped up, he stood, he walked and he entered the temple with them walking and leaping and praising God. And the people saw him walking and praising God and they knew that he was the one beggar who, who was begging for arms at the gate called Beautiful, and they were filled with wonder and amazement of what had happened to him. And when they asked that man, how, how did, who healed you? How did you get healed? He told them, I got healed by the name of Jesus. Oh, you got to hear me tonight. So I'll get ready to close. You want your healing? You got to have faith that, 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 that God is the healer. You don't have to have faith that he's going to heal you. You got to have faith that he is the healer. And he has benefits for you. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that is within me. Forget not all his benefits, who forgives all of our iniquities. And when you realize that you are connected, to Jesus Christ, the healer, he'll make you whole. So as I get ready to close, and y'all know how preachers do that, we say, one more thing. <laughs> one more thing. The most important healing you could ever receive is to give your life to Jesus and accept the fact and believe that he died on the cross for your sins and that God raised him from the dead. That's the most important thing you could ever do. And once you give your life to Christ and he heals your soul and saves you from a burning hell, then you have to walk in his statues through faith and he will make you healthy and he will make you whole. So with that, we gonna pray the prayer of salvation Dear Lord, we thank you and we praise you. We ask you right now, Lord, to forgive us of all of our sins and shortcomings. And then, Lord, we confess that you died on the cross for our sins and that God raised you from the dead. Please, Lord, come into our heart and be our Lord and Savior from this day forward. Heal us, Lord. Save us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making us whole. In Jesus' name, amen. So as I get ready to close again, I told you just one more thing. And all that I said, health is our responsibility and healing is God's responsibility. God can heal you, but your health needs your discipline and your humility. And when you take your discipline and your Humility, your faith in your healing and your discipline for your good health, then you'll be made whole. I want to pray this one prayer for healing and holding, and then I'm going to invite you to come and join us on God in the Midst, Get Them Radio. 
But let me pray this prayer. Lord, help us to be good stewards of our body. Help us to know that we should present our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto you. Enable us, Lord, to understand the ideal of glorifying you in, our, in the care of our bodies because it's, it's your dwelling place. Where, whatever we need healing, wherever we're sick, we pray right now, Lord, to you, the healer, restore our health, heal all of our wounds. Give us the knowledge and the faith to say, oh Lord, my God, I cry out to you and you healed me. I know that when you heal us, we are truly healed. In Jesus name, amen. Call us on the God in light, I mean on the uh, uh, God in the midst conference call. Get them radio 619 639 4733. Again, 619 639 4733. We'll be on the air in about seven minutes. Be blessed and always be a blessing.